and a management consultant. And July 2nd, I completed my course and passed my exam. And I am now a management consultant. Now, so one of the things I learned in the course of the course is for learning to take place, we have to ensure that learning takes place in all we do. At the same time, you know, there's something which is very important. What are the learning objectives? So for tonight, for tonight's topic that we are looking at, situation awareness, what are our learning objectives? I have two learning objectives for us tonight. And the first is at the end of this session, at the end of this broadcast tonight, you all will be able to define situation awareness. Thank you. Thank you. At the end of the session tonight, you all will be able to define situation awareness. Now, and the second objective we have for you tonight, the second object, the second learning objective we have for you tonight is that you will be able to apply situation awareness in your day-to-day -day job. So, the first objective is you'll be able to define what situation awareness means, what it is. Then the second objective for tonight is that you will be able to apply situation awareness into your day-to-day -day, um, operations. So let us start. I'll start with this introduction. And the introduction is, I gave an example sometime last month of a particular uh, top government official that um, the Boko Haram people followed, you know, his vehicle, his convoy, you know, down to his office and they were able to, you know, uh, blow up um, a portion of that place. Now, that's where I'm going to be starting tonight because if the security operatives around this particular VIP, this particular top government official, you know, they would have been able to know, see, understand that a vehicle was following them. They were able to see that a vehicle was following them. This happened to us. Uh, we were having a job to do. We were doing a job some months back. And I, had, I just noticed, I noticed, you know, that, I noticed that a vehicle was following us. I noticed that a vehicle was following us. So I kept, you know, communicating uh with the uh with, with with the uh the chase vehicle that who is this vehicle behind us who is this vehicle everywhere we turn to i changed routes the vehicle followed so i said who is this vehicle that is being situation aware knowing being aware of the environment thank you being aware of the environment that's one of the definitions of situation awareness is there another person that has a definition of situation awareness please do post it now i want every one of us to participate in tonight's broadcast i want us to participate in tonight's broadcast anybody putting up something else what is situation awareness to you what do you understand by situation awareness can somebody put something up in the comment section Put something up. Tell us definition of situation awareness. Is there another person doing that tonight? Okay, okay, okay. So I would say situation awareness is knowing what's going on around you. Situation awareness is knowing what's going on around you. As a protocol officer, as a close protection officer, as a security aide, as a personal assistant, you need to understand, you need to be aware of your environment. You need to be aware of your environment. Watch the people around. Watch those coming close. Watch passerbys. Watch the vehicles. Watch everything. Even up to the roof. When you're walking under a tree, watch lift up your eyes look up to the trees Omar underscore culture says being conscious of what is happening around you at a particular moment another person says the simple act of understanding your environment and the people 
Very important. The people around you. A lot of us have goofed. We've failed. We've put our principles in arm's way because we were carried away. Because we were not situation. We we're not aware of our situation. We're not aware of our situation. And one of the things that will stand you out, that will make you, you know, to, to, to be your best, that will make you to be on top of your game, is when you know and you do situation awareness. It's not enough for you to know it. You have to practice it. You have to apply it. If you don't apply situation awareness, then you're not going to last in this industry. You're going to embarrass your principal. Look at what happened. To, look at, let's look at the case study of the president of France. Did you see what happened to the president of France last month? How someone in the public slapped a old president of a nation. Can you imagine that? President of France being slapped. Being slapped. Where were the first team? Where were the security officials? Where were they? Where were they? You know, I was giving, I was giving a presentation, um, you know, when I was doing my basic mandate, I was doing a presentation, and in the presentation I was doing, I was telling them that, you know, hostile secure location, I was giving them the definition of hostile secure location, that there are places where an enemy can strike against you and get away with it, or to cause you shame. And that was exactly what happened with the president of France. You can imagine the entire president of a nation being slapped like that. The, the security were not on top of their game. How would you let your president walk to the crowd? Yes, you may be practicing a V formation, but you don't practice a V formation in that kind of environment. It's wrong. It's, it's, it's not appropriate to have practiced the formation they practiced, the formation they used on that particular day. That wasn't the right formation to have used. The best formation they should have used could have been the box formation or a diamond formation. That could have been good for them, you know, to forestall that, you know, that a citizen would slap the entire president, the president of a country. That is to cause him shame. So each and every one of us as protocol officers, as close protection officers, as security aides, you need to understand this. One second you take your eyes away from your principal can cost you your job. One second of taking your eyes away from your principal, of not being security alert, can make your principal go down, can embarrass your principal, just as what we had with the president of France. So situational awareness is knowing what's going on around you, taking into account people. You have to take account people. Who is smiling? Who is not smiling? Who is excite, excited? Who is not excited? Who is giving body language? Who is not giving body language? You have to take in account of people. People. You have to take account of people. Vehicle. You have to take account of vehicle. Are they following you? Are they following you? You have to know. You don't just drive a convoy not watching your back. You don't drive a convoy not watching your back. You have to use situation awareness. Situation awareness. Who is coming close? You guys, you church, church folks. Who is coming close to give tight? Who is coming close to the front? You know, at any point in time or after the service or your principal has gone to give a speech somewhere. Who is you have to take account of people. Take account of vehicle. Take account of atmosphere. 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 It's so important. Take account of atmosphere. People, vehicle, atmosphere. Body language. Take account of body language. Put into consideration body language of people. Take account of behaviors. Behavior. Behavior. See, don't... I said something. I've always said this. Assumption is the lowest form of reasoning for a close protection officer. Assumption is the lowest form of reasoning for a protocol officer. Emotions, yes, you have to take account. Don't, don't overlook anything. Don't overlook anything. Anything that happened is communication. That's information to you. Communication can be verbal or non-verbal. Yes, 
communication. I was in an event um, some two weeks ago with a principal, and we noticed, uh, we noticed, you know, our team noticed that a gentleman, you know, was communicating, a gentleman at 45, you know, 45, was communicating with another person at five. So I, I said to them, bust them, blow their bubble. You don't have to say we are watching you. No, we have seen you communicate. We'll bust your bubble. We'll come to you. We'll come to tell you, hey, what's up? What's going on with you? What's going on? Why, what's going on with you and the other guy there? Bust your bubble. Bust your bubble. Do you understand? Don't just leave them alone. So that is, this is what situation awareness means. When you take account of people, of vehicles, of the atmosphere, of emotions, of people's behavior, every body language, this is what situation awareness means. And the second, second definition I'm going to give you tonight on situation awareness is when you take watch movements, watch movements, watch movements. And I've, I always, I've always told, you know, um, protocol officers, close protection officers, if you find yourself in any gathering where they are saying prayers, you don't close your eyes. You don't close your eyes. <laughs> your eyes should be wide open. Eyes should be. Every other person can close their eyes. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Atmosphere there in situation awareness is smell. 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 Who is smelling? Who is smelling? Who is carrying something? Who is, what, what body is bulky? Atmosphere there means who is exchanging briefcase amongst themselves. Did you get that? Did you get that? So, watch movement watch movement of people and you know element watch everyone be prepared for what would happen next never be caught unaware as a protocol officer as a close protection officer as a personal assistant personal assistant yes you heard me right you the personal assistant you can't close your eyes when you are, your principal is in a place where they are saying prayers. You cannot close your eyes. Anything could have happened. Anything could have happened. So that is what, that is the definition of situation awareness. Now, how do we apply situation awareness? I'll just quickly, you know, go into this. Now, this situation awareness is, a, is an entire uh, module in our academy, you know, I'm just going to be scratching the surface for you tonight, you know. But if you want to have more of this, log on, sign up for one of our courses. Sign up for one of our courses that has, you know, that has the situation awareness. It determines if you're going to do, if you're going to succeed or not. It determines if you're going to succeed or not. It determines if you're going to, if you have the right skill to do your job. Situation awareness. You should know. So let's quickly look tonight out. How do we apply? How do we apply situation awareness? Now, in applying situation awareness, the first thing I'm going to talk about is observation. You need to be so observant. If a fly flies through where you are, you should know. Observation. You know, someone said, eyes that look are many, but eyes that see are few. Eyes that look are many, but eyes that see are few. Be part of those few that see. Don't just look. So if your God, if your sunglass is making you not to see, you better remove it. <laughs> Do you understand that? If your sunglass is making you not to see, my friend... I advise you remove it. Remove it. Remove it. Remove it quickly. Remove it. Observation. How observant are you? When the tie of your principal shifts to the left, do you know? How observant are you? When someone is approaching your principal in, in, in an event, are you aware? I was in an event with a particular principal um, last year before the COVID 19. In, you know, somewhere in Lagos, Nigeria. And um, I observed, I noticed a gentleman just, you know, it would take like two, three steps, then stop. He was talking to others, but I kept watching him. 
I kept watching. And I wasn't watching only him. I was, my eyes were going to and fro. One of the ways you can, one of the things you can pick from the devil is pick the ministry of to and fro. <laughs> pick the ministry of to and fro. Your eyes going to and fro, watching and seeing details, not just to watch. You have to see details. You have to see details. Observation will make you see details. Observation will make you see details. For example, if your principal is giving a speech somewhere and you are not observant and his tie has turned, has, has, has shifted. His tie has shifted. Or the, 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 the pants, the pants is stuck in his socks. Or the, the, the shoe is dirty. Or you have a female principal, we are seeing the brass strap of your female principal. You are not observant. Or someone could just walk up to your principal and, you know, badge into them. So why are you there? Observation. What is observation? This is seeing or watching with your eyes. There's no other way to observe than your eyes. Seeing and watching with your eyes. Also, you have to look at the right things at the right time. That's why I said, don't just look, see. Eyes that look are many, but eyes that see are few. You know, I've always told every protocol, I've always told every close protection officer, I've always told them that focus creates blindness. Focus creates blindness. What do I mean focus? How focused are you on your principal? That if it does like this, you, you move. How focused are you on your principal? You know, some of us get to events, we get carried away, you're looking at light, you're looking at performance. You're not there to look at performance. Your performance is your principal. <laughs> That's your performance. Your performance, your stage, everything is your principal. Focus creates blindness. You should be looking at your principal. Look at your principal, Make sure, you know, your principal, sometimes they have to tap you, that your principal needs your attention. They have to tap you. Somebody has to tap you because you are not looking. Observation means using your eyes to see. And not only to see, seeing the right things. Seeing the right things. You must learn how to disregard unnecessary information. Learn how to disregard unnecessary information. Edit it. Edit it. Learn how to disregard unnecessary information and take the ones that are important. Take the ones that are what important. Did you get that? I want you to put on the comment. Put in the comment section that I got you. Put it there that I got you. Say that. Say that I got you. I got you, Mr. Demola. I got you. I got you. This little skill will make a whole lot of difference on your work. Thank you. Thank you. This little, if you get these little things, sometimes it's not big things. It's not big things that makes you stand out. It's not big things. It's small things. Small things. Small details. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Small details. Small details. It's small details that you just need to pay attention. Pay attention to small details. And you're going to see, you know, that yeah, before you know it, boom, you're flying high. The boss calls for you. The boss trusts you because the boss knows that you're focused. Now, another way of implementing uh, situation awareness is memory retention. I won't give you everything tonight. <laughs> Come and get the rest in the class, okay? Memory retention. Memory retention. I, I'm so sure that what I'm telling you, I'm telling you, see, I, I'm not hiding anything from you. My assignment is, I just love to see you succeed. I just love to see you succeed. Trust me. I love to see you succeed. I love to see you succeed. And that's why, you know, we have this session, you know, every month, once in a month, just to get us on our toes, to get you not to settle. So the number two thing is what? Memory retention. Don't just observe. Get the details. Get the details. Oh. Yeah. Get the details. Get the details. Get the details. Get the details. What details am I telling you to get? Don't just observe. 
the guy is white. Oh, the guy is, 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 is a black guy. Oh, yeah, it's a black guy. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? That's memory retention. One of the skills, a good personal assistant, a good protocol officer, a good close protection officer, app is memory retention. You should be able to tell us he has dark hair, light skin, five feet, wearing red shirt, black jean, brown, black belt. You should be able to give us all those details. You should be able to give us all those details. So observation and memory retention would help you to apply situation awareness. Okay, now I want to break this thing down to layman's language. I want to break it down to layman's language. At home, how watchful are you in your house? Some of you, you're driving home. You did not know somebody was following you. Then you blame the devil. It isn't the devil. It's just that you are not smart. It's just that you are not alert. Situation awareness can be used everywhere. At home, at work. Okay, let me give you examples how you can use it. At work, be observant. If the table of the boss moves, no, it moves. If something, you know, a place is, is documented in a particular way and you got there and it has shifted, observant. You should be observant. You should be observant. You should be. You know, when you're driving, don't just drive. Watch your rear mirror. Watch your rear mirror. Watch your side mirrors. Am I being followed? You know, some years ago, someone very close to my dad was being followed like that. They followed him. He just bought a new vehicle that time. They followed him to his gate. Not only did they follow him to this gate, this happened in Ibadan, southwest Nigeria, many years ago. They followed him to the gate. As they followed him to the gate, the gate man opened the gate. As he drove in, they walked in with him. He wasn't situationally aware. He was just driving. Did you get that? And you guess what those guys did? Those guys ate amala in his house. The wife cooked amala that night. Amala is a local dish in Nigeria for those of us that are out in Nigeria. You know, it's a food. You know, they ate <laughs> before they took his car away and robbed him. But if he had just... Obs you know, many a times I do that. And I'm going home at night. I'm watching. I'm watching. Even up to the... You know, we have HSLs everywhere. HSLs are junctions, turnings, overhead bridge, uh, trees, anywhere can be HSLs. Anywhere can be HSL. You know, and what HSLs are where the enemy will stay. They will pull over to, you know, execute their bad issues, their bad uh, in intentions. Do you get that? So, I always watch. There was a particular night I was coming home and um, all of a sudden, I, I observed a vehicle and you know some of us some of you guys are saying you guys are too susp uh, superstitious or whatever you can see i am i probe everything if a fly pass here now i will find out why should the fly pass <laughs> i probe everything i don't let anything slide i don't let anything slide i ask questions i ask questions observation you know, and I saw, I noticed that the vehicle, so I moved up at the top speed. Moved at the top speed. I noticed the vehicle moved also. I said, okay, I got you guys. You know, I got myself ready. You know, and um, I moved. At a point, I moved. Then I turned. And as I turned, I turned off my headlamp. I did not press any brake. I just was going so they couldn't see my brake light and you wouldn't but you know what those guys know my they knew my house and you know they just went straight to my gates you know i called my security man i said hey what's up is anybody in front of my house he said yes uh a vehicle just stopped in front of the house i said okay watch them from a distance watch them from a distance thank you guys for helping me to answer him hsl means hostile secure location you know so thank you for you know watch them from a distance and as they moved I came back that same way, you know, and I, 
and every time before then i call my security hey guy open the gate you know few seconds to the house open the gates so i know i'm not stopping by the gates you don't understand you have to be aware at the restaurant while your principal eats there are those that want to supply insta block that want to supply all these uh, paparazzi people with information about your principal what do you do you observe you observe you don't just and that's why I, I don't subscribe to you eating when your principal is eating you should be watching you should be watching at the restaurant so why how do you practice how do you uh, implement apply hsl that's what we're talking about with your principal maybe your principal uh, you know your principal like i said his tie has gone this way and you wouldn't know and you observed as he went up to deliver his speech it's very wrong it's very wrong those are our responsibilities those are our responsibilities on a lighter mode you as a husband your wife has just done a new air you know a new air, and you are not aware you're not situationally aware that your wife has made a new air. <laughs> situational awareness is everywhere as a matter of fact i tell you the truth it is the way of life situational awareness is the way of life it's the way of life you should get to your house and notice that the way you left your house isn't the way it, you met it did you get that did you get that so this is what situational awareness is now also you have to use your senses use your senses now um what are the tools for carrying out situation awareness what are the tools for eyes for observation to see your hair to what your information intelligence gather intelligence gather intelligence nose to smell nose to smell you have to perceive there's a fire break there's anything you should you should know and your hand when you're carrying out a search you're carrying out a search you know someone someone has entered into a particular place with a rifle before in abuja nigeria the person you know it was an event and the person came yeah it was an event you know and the person uh they saw the guy you know with a gun and immediately our attention was called to it and boom we went straight to meet the person went straight to meet the person hey what's up how are you doing introduce yourself you know introduce yourself who are you that's it you know be you know one of the things one of the ways to implement situational awareness is confidence confidence as a security as a personal uh, close protection officer as a you know feeling the confident your confidence you should be confident you have to okay so so what are the importance of conducting the what importance of conducting situation awareness it begins you know from you making decision don't just observe you must be quick to act be quick to act i just told you you know, it was told that a guy was in an event with a rifle, with a pistol. Yeah, the staff that saw him, he, he, was, he was situationally aware. He didn't touch him. But me looking at him, he knew that this guy had a rifle. That's situational awareness. And the next thing, you know, he called in. He just called it in. Boom. As he called it in, give us location. There's the location. We went there straight. Boom. Surrender the police. <laughs> Surrender the police. You know, and I went straight to meet the end, to meet the, to meet the man. I said, hey, how are you doing? Introduce yourself, please. You know, and yeah, of course, and he told us, we, and I, you know, told the maid, you know, you shouldn't be holding this, this in your pocket. And he said, what's that? I said, you know. <laughs> Do you understand? So decision making is so important. Don't just hear this. Don't just see it. You know, some of us, we have noticed something, but we drag in executing. We drag. You shouldn't drag because that can cost life. Immediately you notice something, you need to work with your brain, you know, to do, make, take the right decision. Okay, I'm going to be stopping here tonight. 
um, situation awareness. There are a lot more, lot and lot more things you know for us to talk about on situation awareness. Come to the academy, and um, you will get a more detailed, you know, uh, what's it called, um, information about situation awareness. But I do hope, I am so sure that the little we've not little, the much we've said about situational awareness tonight, you've gained something from it. If you gained something, allow in the comment section and tell me that you truly gained something. Put it in the comment section. I would like to know that you have gained something tonight. So I'll go back now to our learning objective. I'll go back to our learning objective and I would like to confirm if learning has taken place tonight in this broadcast. Have you learned something? If you have, put it in the comment section. Put it in the comment section. Send us an inbox. Send us email. Send us, you know, put a comment up. You know, share this post, you know, to let us know you've learned something. So tonight, our learning objective said, you will be able to define situation awareness. So how many of us now can define situation awareness? How many of us can define situation awareness now? You can define it? Great 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 and the second objective we have tonight is that you'll be able to apply situation awareness i do hope that you know with what we have said tonight you will be able to apply situation awareness not only at your place of work even in your home and everywhere you know you go to always watch your back always watch your back you know i was somewhere last week thursday and um, a guy that, a guy, you know, a guy was angry and he was going to vent his anger, you know, on, on me, you know, of course. But I was aware. I didn't even go with my security and all of that. I just, you know, I just, I was just alone and the guy was going to vent his anger. But situation awareness made me to know. And we were able to cut him to size. Did you get that? So the way to cut your guy, your enemies to size is be situation aware. Know your environment. Okay, so uh, we still have our trainings going on. Um, we have the making of a seven-star protocol officer. It's there. Get us to come to your organization. Get us to come to your churches. Get us to come to your mosque. Get us to come to wherever, you know, you, wherever you're working, you know, to come train your team members, your colleagues, on how to be the best in this game in this industry we have a lot of modules a lot of topics you know coming up uh, that we have already take advantage of them take advantage of them send us an email and let us know that you're watching us send a message to us and let us hook up do have a great evening do you have any question i'd like to answer question 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 if you have any question, it's time for you to put in the question. Yes, please, you can ask questions. Please, I'd like to take one or two questions before we round up this broadcast tonight. So if you have a question, our email address is info at info at uh, the barricade protection dot com. Info at the barricade protection dot com. The links to the courses, they are all on our Instagram page. Uh, most of them are on the Instagram page. You can just, you know, check our Instagram page. You'll see all our courses there. We have some also that we have not advertised. Um, we will advertise them. So, so you can send us a mail. Well, we are a registered security company. We, are, we operate in 72 countries in the world. Yes, we are a registered security company. SIA registered every all international certifications. We have all international certifications and local certification as well. So we are registered. So we are hoping we would learn more about the types of formation. Okay, we're not talking about formation tonight. Mm -hmm. We're talking about uh, situational awareness. Does self-defense relate to being a protocol officer? In protocol, there's a part of protection. There are four P's of protocol. Which one of the P's of protocol is protection? So as a protocol officer, yes, self-defense relates to being a protocol officer. You should be able to. 
like I said to you, the gentleman of um, uh, the gentleman that you know wanted to do something, you know, that wanted to, well, if not for self defense, how would you have been? How would you have escaped from that? Do you understand? So definitely, kindly upload the last month class on your page. Sure, we will. Thank you, um, Mr. Victor, for posting it up. Info at the barricade protection dot com that's our email send us an email and let's get talking any other question any other question okay send us an email tell us also what you think we should talk about um tell us what you think we should talk about then there's another thing we are doing now uh we will be in we will be in one of the states next month so one of the things you know one of the things we are doing now for religious organizations is that Instead of coming to everybody's church, another thing we are trying, we are, we're just doing now is um, we gather in a particular place, do the training there, then, you know, so we don't have to go to everyone's church. However, if you want us to come to your organization, why not send us a, an email, then we'll put a time, then we'll be able to walk up and come. Is it okay to go up the state to adjust your principal's dressing? Hmm. That question, it all depends. If it's if it is that bad, you know one of the ways we have done it depends on the on the on the event. One of the, it has happened to uh, I entered an event and I and I saw that. So what we did was to let there's a monitor in front of the principal, and I just made the media team to send a message to him so that he can see, you know, where we want him to adjust his attire. And there are other times if it's that bad, you know that you can excuse your principal because that's embarrassing your principal already. So did I answer your question? Oh, you kept the question in the... Okay, I'll check now. When you observe a situation, how do you make sure your enemy does not know you are taking cover? That's under surveillance. Under surveillance, we have what we call anti-surveillance. We have counter-surveillance, you know, where the you are watching the thief. <laughs> do you understand? So... How do you how how do you make sure your enemy does not know? You cover yourself well. You cover yourself well, and if you want the enemy to know, definitely you should find a way, you know, to rally around and make sure you take the situation, put the situation under control, without arous arising hostility from that um, enemy. What combative sport is recommended for self defense? What combative sport is recommended? Box, send us an inbox, we'll send it to you. Let's check this question. Um, so how do you how do you work? Now how do you work as a close protection officer when you have three principals? I think that's what you're trying to say. If you have three principals, definitely there's no way you can be everywhere. Like we do, we have several principals that we are responsible for. So what we'll simply do is that we have men with them. We have men with them, then, you know, we have a team also that goes around to ensure that our men are doing what we ask them to do and the principal is well taken care of. So please kindly, okay. So I've answered your question. Okay, so at this point tonight, thank you for joining us. I uh, would we'll edit it, then we'll be able to put it up on our YouTube page and also on the Instagram page. Have a good evening. Thank you for joining tonight. Have a good one. Bye-bye.